why they say that. I don't know what's so sensitive, but I guess uh, there may be some plants they've been doing um, cleaning of those invasive, non-native plants around here. I see of marks all the time. If you see some kind of um, yellow or orange ties on the plants, they're there to be removed, and most of them are gone now. Last week we had many of them, and they're doing a great job of removing all that non-native plants. There's a lot of water on the left, usually that's dry through the summer, but uh, I think the rain has been helping out. Uh, a lot of fishing from this bridge, but today the guy is taking photographs. I've seen him around, he was at the lighthouse, he's just walking around taking pictures right now. If you want to look around, look to the left and right. Move your, uh, move the image with your fingers or your phone. You're gonna see a lot of water right here. Um, this is the part where you encounter a lot of snakes. Uh, not many of the gators, but uh, gators don't like to tackle trees as much. But uh, obviously they're around, but mostly snakes are. So you can see all the trees are on the water right now, and they're doing just fine. Water is good. So we're coming towards the museum over here. It's really little, but um, that's where the uh, administration building is. Uh, that's where we usually come in with our trucks and uh, park and then hop on our bikes and take this whole trip with the bike back and forth to the lighthouse about 14 miles. If you don't want to drive, you can do that park right there at the entrance hop on your bike and just you see a lot you can stop any, anywhere you wanted to stop and uh, it's a pretty good trip so this is the last turn before we get out of here The biggest gators I saw in this place was about here, but I'm not saying we're gonna see one here right now, but I don't want to get into the upcoming lane, but if you can see some right down that way, this is the place where gators like to come out in the mornings and in the afternoons where there's a lot of sun. You can actually go into that building and just watch around and there's a mile of kind of like a hiking trail, hiking, walking, whatever, little trail around it. I strongly suggest using serious caution here. So, yep, this is where you can park and then hop on your bike if that's what you want to do. Um, I hate these poppers. Um, this is where you get your pass. You can use the restrooms, uh, maps, all that information right around here. And this takes us to the outside. So the total trip is about 14 to 15 miles from where you enter the park, I mean the refuge. Hey, move on. Get out of my way. I want to run them over. They changed their minds too quick. Start running back. This is where you, um, where you pay if you don't have the pass. man this place most of the time you have your pass they have no problem you don't have to stop uh, he doesn't stop anybody necessarily but if you don't have a pass you need to pay pay your dues it's good for wildlife so I hope you enjoy the videos <laughs>